What's up guys? Farm Wrestler here. Um, gonna show you something that I've uh, more or less finished that I've been working on for actually not very long because it was super simple but my uh, off-grid power system. Now why did I pick off-grid? Um, it wasn't because I was uh, feeling green that day or anything like that. It was uh, more the result of just getting power to my shop, which is probably 200 yards from here, was um, around $30,000 to have the electric company come in and do that. And that quote actually was from quite a while ago, like more than five years ago, so I can only imagine what it is now. But um, I decided that, you know, maybe solar would be the right situation for the cabin here. And so that's what I've done. And I'll give you a quick overview of my system here. So this is the heart of the system here. It's a Solark um, 12K hybrid inverter. And um, I'll show you inside here what we've got. It's been a great system, really easy to use. I've had it up and running for about a month now and haven't had any problems. Um, we'll go ahead and take this plate off so I can show you a little bit better the wiring here and how it's set up, how easy it is to use. So here's with the um, access cover off and we'll just kind of go through one connection at a time. Everything's um, real easy. Um, this here is our loads coming out that runs to my main breaker panel. Um, this is for the uh, generator input but um, and, and this is where your grid would tie but we actually don't use the generator input um, when we're completely off grid we will run the generator through the grid tie and then if you're so inclined you can use the generator lines as a dump load to run um, an AC unit or a hot water heater which we will not be running our hot water heater off of um, electric you can set parameters within the inverter to dictate when um, that dump load runs. So that's a really cool feature. When we move over here, these are my um, solar leads coming in. Um, I, I've got them labeled positive and negative just with a Sharpie because when you're bringing a whole bunch of wires in, it's really easy to get it crossed and confused so I've obviously got more spots for solar if I was ever inclined to add more solar panels but I've got 4,000 watts of solar panels on the roof so which is more than enough to run this place even with the AC in the summer um, these two wires 15 and 16 are um, a 12 volt power source that runs um, my Tygo RSS A4 rapid shutdown, which I have the transmitter in this box here. And um, the way it works is it's, it's getting 12 volt power and it's actually, you can use uh, 120 volt also, but since since this has, since the Solark has the 12 volt power output, I'm just utilizing that to run this TSS transmitter, which communicates wirelessly with the receivers on the roof and can shut down 
the solar panels on the roof, it can stop them from making electricity when um, there's a problem on with the solar panels or with any of these electronics. And this here is a core that is um, sensing um, current and everything, and you do have to make sure you're running it the right direction through the core for it to work right. And there's also a rapid shutdown button that I'll show you later for an emergency shutdown in case this system failed there's another way to shut it down but we'll continue here um, the solar has this um, two wire generator start and we have not set up the generator I've purchased it I've got it sitting out there but I have not set it up but it's also got um, you know a spot for uh, battery temperature and everything but my batteries which I'll show you here in a minute are they have their own battery monitoring system the BMS with um, with their own shutdown for heat and cold which should never be a problem in here um, and then um, this is where my battery comes in once the sun goes down you got to run off something and this is where the batteries come in and I'll show you the battery bank here in a second but um, you can also parallel these systems really easily like add another one of course I I will not need to do that I've built this thing so efficiently that you know heating and cooling is very small um, and then most of my appliances will be propane, so I don't foresee ever needing more power. But it is nice to have air conditioning when it's really hot out. And it's made working in here um, a million times nicer having uh, AC going in here. So usually I don't, I don't touch the place in the summer because it gets so hot in here, but now that I've got electricity and air conditioning, game changer. So for those of you that are um, curious about what the system can make and use, um, I basically have my mini split on and a few lights, and um, the mini split is an 18,000 BTU unit and it's currently consuming 1.12 kilowatts. My panels are currently producing uh, 2.97 kilowatts, but um, it's maybe 1130 and my batteries are already fully charged again. Um, you can see, you know, you can see as the sun gets better, as the day goes on here, um, how the solar panels ramp up, and I'm I'm nowhere near maxing out my solar panels at this point because I have so little running in here, um, mostly just the air conditioner, and then some power tools, of course, during the day, and a dehumidifier in the basement, but. Um, It's pretty cool to be able to flip through and see exactly what's happening within the system. So, and programming the system is, is really easy. I mean, you go in here to settings and there's basic setups. I'm not going to get into all of that because there's plenty of other videos that show you all that. But it's just all touch screen setups and toggling up and down on these buttons to... Uh, get the system set up so it's pretty awesome I'm I'm very pleased with it so far I've got all my wiring running in conduits um, through this homemade plate I used I had a I purchased a wire run 
but um, it didn't really seem to buy me anything. And so I spent, you know, about $2 on this plate and um, it's done the job just fine. So here is my battery bank. Um, what I have here is six um, SOK 24 volt 100 amp hour batteries and that gives me 300 amp hours at 48 volts because this is a 48 volt system so it gives me 300 amp hours which um, has no no problems running the AC all night um, even even when it's really hot you know you can set the AC to 70 which is a dream for me and it'll keep it there and the lowest my battery has been is about 30 percent by morning but this thing charges it up so fast it it actually just kicked on there if you heard it it's got cooling fans this thing can actually be mounted outside it, it can it can be mounted pretty much anywhere I'm in a, a kind of utility closet um, my tankless hot water heater is gonna go on this wall I still obviously have some plumbing to finish up before I hang this last sheet of drywall up here and my gas line but um, I'm just in this utility closet here that'll be storage and whatnot so definitely looking forward to showing you guys more of the cabin um, as things go here so stay tuned hope you enjoyed the video Upcoming, we'll have the um, the generator install for uh, backup if if I ever if I ever need it. Um, cloudy days, rainy days. So stay with me, Farm Wrestler. Signing out.